source for all Spotswood, Meltdown, Helmetta, and other world news. Listen up, Chargers, because here are your Spotswood High School announcements. Tis the season to be thankful. As part of our mission to highlight what the students and staff, staff of SHS are thankful for, the Community Service Club is bringing back one of our most important fundraisers. This year, the proceeds will go towards two amazing organizations, the NJ Make-A-Wish Foundation and a local animal shelter. Please see any Community Service Club members to fill out a thankfulness leaf to be put on display the weeks before Thanksgiving. We're grateful for you and know that we can't reach our goal of 250 leaves without you. There will be a film club meeting after school today in room 516A. The National Honor Society will be having a badminton tournament on Friday, November 15th at 6.30 p.m. The tournament will be limited to 16 teams. Entry fee is $10 per team. Please see Ms. Federicks in room 302 for a sign-up sheet. All proceeds will support our chosen Chanty this year. Children of the Nation's admissions for spectators will be $2. Please come out and support National Honor Society. The Literary Magazine will be meeting Thursday, November 14th in room 301, immediately after dismissal. Anyone interested in creative writing, art, and photography is welcome to attend. Attention underclassmen. Picture retakes are on November 15th. This is the only day to retake your picture. If you do not take a picture, you will not be in the yearbook. Those are your Spotswood High School announcements. You're watching The Bolt. We'll be back in a moment. Welcome back to The Bolt. On November 14, 1969, Apollo 12 orbited. Apollo 12 was the sixth crewed flight in the U.S. Apollo program. It is also the second to land on the moon. It was launched from the Kennedy Space Center located in Florida. It launched four months after the launch of Apollo 11. The mission lasted 10 days, 4 hours, and 36 minutes. There were three people on board with a landing mass of 11,050 pounds and a launching mass of 101,127 pounds. The objective of this mission was to perform a more detailed scientific lunar exploration. On board was Charles Conrad Jr., the commander, Richard F. Gordon, the command module pilot, and Alan L. Bean, the lunar module pilot. Out of Cape Canaveral, Florida, SpaceX just launched 60 new Starlink satellites using the Falcon 9. These satellites are to be used to bring us all on Earth, internet access around the world in remote places. They are, in, they are improved from the last batch of these satellites sent into space. These satellites are meant to reach rural locations. For example, suburbs and cities have many different wireless cell towers and cables around us. With this in mind, Elon Musk will be launching a brand new internet service. It is still in its testing phases. SpaceX plans to have the satellites stay much lower in Earth's orbit than others do due to the fact that these rural locations could be located with foliage. Additionally, astronomers are concerned for this as it will become much harder to see in the, into the night sky. If you miss Halloween already and you can't get enough of the spooky season, here is one of New York's most haunted. Since New York is just an hour away, you're welcome to visit whenever you want. Located in Manhattan is the Morris Jamel Mansion. It is currently the oldest house in Manhattan, built in 1765. It was originally built as a summer home for Roger Morris and his wife. During the American Revolution, they abandoned the house and soon after, President George Washington moved in and stationed himself there during the war. In 1810, after George Washington had left the house behind, Eliza and Stephen Jamel moved in. After the suspicious death of Stephen Jamel, there have been many sightings of groups of children being told to be quiet by the ghost of Eliza Jamel, along with a soldier being seen emerging from paintings on the walls of the house. This is The Bolt. We'll be back after this. Welcome back to The Bolt. 
Everyone knows that the future is clear for the class of 2020, but from time to time, things can get lost in the endless sea of emails that the seniors are getting recently. Here at the Bolt, we intend to be the glasses for them to make sure everything is clear and that they never miss a thing. This feature is called Senior Section. There are our cap and gown picture retakes because of the new gowns for graduation on Tuesday, November 12th. If you want your picture to correlate with your big day, make sure to attend. Also, a senior highlight. Randy Wells for the Spotswood Soccer Lady Chargers was a player named for the all-blue team making this her third year in a row. Her coach, Mike Reed, said of her, Randy is a captain and a three-time all-blue division player as a center back. She is a fearless defender and embraced the challenges of defending top forwards from the opposing teams. This week in Spotswood News. As utility work continues along the stretch of Old Stage Road between Summerhill Road and Easton Avenue, both lanes are closed on Friday. Residents and commuters are advised to plan alternate routes for November 8th and expect delays when traveling through the area. Detour signs are posted. In other news, Memorial Middle School Drama Club has an upcoming production of Dear Edwin Jr. on Thursday, November 21st, Friday, November 22nd at 6.30 p.m., on Saturday, November 23rd at 1.30 p.m. at Spotswood High School. Doors open 30 minutes prior to the curtain. Tickets are general admission and are $6 per person. All Spotswood School District staff received a complimentary ticket with their staff identification. Also, as the holiday season is upon us with Thanksgiving on November 28th, in Spotswood, the annual tree lighting ceremony will be held on Saturday, December 7th at the Municipal Building. There will be music, community tables, and the students from Shonley Element Elementary School sing holiday favorites. I'm Shannon, more on the bowl after this. Welcome back to the bowl. Now let's see what's going on in sports with the Bolt's very own A.J. Legakis. Here to talk about all things Chargers, athletics, as well as national teams. A.J.? Thank you, Shannon. I'm A.J. Legakis, and today I'll be giving you a rundown on sports. The Spotswood Chargers ended their season on a high note by beating St. Thomas Aquinas on the road 27-15. Then they played a consolation game in which they lost 48-25 against Johnson. They finished the season 4-5 four or 4-6 four if you count the consolation game. The Spotswood Chargers boys soccer team beat South River in double OT to move on to round 2 before losing at Delaware Valley in OT 3-2. They finished 12-6 or 14-7-1, including playoffs. The Spotswood Chargers girls soccer team beat Middlesex 2-0 in round 1, then played against Point Pleasant Beach and lost 3-1 in the quarterfinal round. They finished 13-2-2 on the season, or 14-4-2 if you count playoffs. To national sports. The New York Giants lost their sixth straight, falling to their in-state rival, the New York Jets, on Sunday. They fought a 2-8 on the season while the Jets go 2-7. The New York Rangers won an OT over Pittsburgh 3-2 on Tuesday. Capo Caco scored the game winner and his second of the game. They set it 8-6-2. The Islanders won on Saturday 2-1 over Florida, and the Devils won at Vancouver on Sunday 2-1. The Isles sit at 12-3-1, while New Jersey sits at 5-7-4. The, the World Series came to a close with Washington beating Houston in seven games. The final score of that game seven was Washington winning 6-2, with Strasburg winning the MVP. The New York Knicks lost at Chicago last night 121-02. They fall at 2-9, while the Brooklyn Nets lost at Utah 119-114 as they fought as 4-6 on the season. Thank you. I'm AJ, and this has been Bolt Sports. Back to you in the studio, Shannon. Thank you, AJ, for the rundown on sports. Coming up after this, this week's weather forecast, a segment filled up with pent-up anger and rage finally letting loose. Trust me, you won't want to miss it. I'm Shannon, and we'll be back with more of the Bolt after this. back to the bowl. I'm Shannon and now to Autumn for the weather. Autumn?
Thanks, Shannon. I'm Autumn, and I'll be filling you in on the latest in weather. An Arctic blast has hit the U.S. recently, with temperatures dropping into the mid-30s. This coming week, we expect to see rain Monday through Wednesday with a high of 54 degrees across the three days. Many parts of the U.S. have seen snow already, with over a foot of snow falling in upstate New York and the Syracuse area. Chicago also got about six inches of snow on Monday, and a low of seven degrees on Tuesday set a record low temperature for November 12th. This was the first snowfall of the season. That's your weather news for this week. Back to you in the studio, Shannon. Thank you, Autumn. But that's not the last of we're seeing her of this episode. In class, she's always got a lot on her mind, and she isn't afraid to voice it. Here's Autumn once again with her own segment, Autumn's Rant. Hi, everyone, and welcome to Autumn's Rant. Today, I'd like to talk about holidays. Now, we have Halloween, Thanksgiving, and Christmas. They're all very close together. However, everyone seems to forget Thanksgiving. We go from Halloween right to Christmas. Spooky to festive. Where is the thanks, people? We want the food. We want the turkey. We want the cranberries. We want the food. We want the things. We want the family. So stop just going from woo to ho, 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 Christmas time, jingle bells. There's Thanksgiving in between, people. Come on. Give thanks to your family. They deserve it. Your mom is making a nice meal. Enjoy it. Celebrate the turkeys. Eat the turkeys. Have a nice time with your family before Christmas. Thanks for listening, everyone. This is Autumn's Rant. Back to you in the studio. Wow, that was a lot. Thank you once again, Autumn, for letting us see how the inside of your head works and what really makes you mad. Hopefully, some of our viewers can relate to what you're going through. That's all we have for the bolt for this week. Make sure to be on the lookout for our next episode. We air every Thursday and film this program from our SPSN studios here at Spotswood High School. As always, thank you for watching. I'm Shannon, this is The Bolt, and we'll see you next week, Spotswood.